welcome back again to another video guys how are you doing please do wait to like this video and if you have not subscribed kindly subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so that anytime i drop a new video you'll be notified today i'm planting a garden and i want my daughter this is very intentional i just want her to be around to see the process from the the scratch to the later days so i want her to see how this is done so i recently moved out from the city to a countryside here in ghana so that has inspired me to want to own a garden all right so what happened is i already got this nursery here for some time but i have been very busy i didn't have time to plant it so but because i believe in the power of revival i could easily have thrown this away to go get a fresh one fresh ones but because i believe in the power of revival that is why i'm planting this and i want to do this in front of you all so that when this revives and start to grow you will see the first one i'm starting out with is pepe this is abanero pepe I want to do this so my daughter can see. I'm going to take her through. Anytime I'm coming here to do anything, I make sure she follows me. She's the youngest in the house and she is the one that knows nothing about anything yet. So I want her to know this because when I was a little girl in my village, I remember owning my own farm. Each time I return from school, I go straight there to the farm. And each time people passes by and they ask who on the farm, I could hear their kids telling them, oh, the farm belongs to, you know, they mention my name. And I like what they usually say. Oh, she's so hardworking. Her farm is so beautiful. I mean, her farm is doing great. She's going to have a bountiful harvest and all that. So that really inspired me to want to do more. I do a lot. And at the end of the day, I don't usually care what my mom do with it. I just want to harvest and heap it there so everyone can say something nice. Oh, wow, is this, are this all yours? And that's it. So, but ever since I left the village, I have not had a chance to plant anything for others or even to my, for myself to consume. So I want to do this because I have space. There's a lot of space here and I have spoken to the landlord. He is cool with it. His only concern is when they interlock. So I've told him this is just a temporary garden. It's not going to take forever. Before the interlocking would take place, definitely this would have been harvested and maybe a move to the other plots that is still there, owned by the same person because he was advising if I would may want to look at that site. But it doesn't look like a fertile land to me. So I want to plant here. All right, so... This is okra. I got it the same time with the pepper and the garden egg. But, you know, since I didn't have time to plant it, today that I have time, I want to do this quickly. And I want to take my daughter through the whole process. I hope that you keep on watching. This is not the only thing that I'll be doing here. I'm bringing more produce, um, more crops. I'm bringing more crops like tomato, I'll be bringing corn. I'll be bringing something else. No, definitely not fruits, okay? I'm just going to plant uh, crops and vegetables, just vegetables strictly. Things that I know within a few months or within a period of a year will be, you know, ready for harvest so they can go on ahead and interlock this place should the needs arise before, you know. So I don't want, like, fruits because that is going to mean forever, okay so i want my daughter to learn how to plant especially this okra i remember uh in my where i come from they used to want the kids to plant something like to plant especially things like okra igusi to help them put it on on onto the heads they believe that kids brings uh more good luck so and all that so i want to see what we get when my daughter's you know planting um and also putting her through how to do this thing, how to know. I just want her to know one day when we have this okra and take it to the kitchen, prepare it, she will see and know how it all started. 
So let's continue doing this. Don't go nowhere. Continue watching. Uh, thank you. Please check if you have not liked the video. Kindly like. Leave me your thoughts down at the comment section. And also, if there is any advice you want to give, please do so. I do not have any other um, tools other than the cutlass that I've gotten from um, a neighbor. So I just want to use this to start. I have a lot of space, okay, not just here. So the next thing I'm going to be bringing, um, that will be corn and tomato and other crops, you know, like I said earlier. So keep on watching. <laughs> Aus dem Nebel heraus Bring dich wieder zurück nach Haus yeah. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen Zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West Komm halt dich an mir fest Dir alles, was du noch nicht kennst. Schau dich in Ruhe um, du musst nicht rennen. Lass uns den Schritt nach vorne gehen, zusammen in die richtige Richtung drehen. Ich fühle dich sicher von Ost nach West. Komm, halt dich an mir fest. So there's a, a kind of a certain kind of peace that I have been feeling since I came to this part of the country, since I moved here to live here. This is not like we don't pay bills like we do pay in Accra. No, we do pay bills, but I don't know if it is the calmness of this environment that is bringing so much peace. There's so much calmness over here. There, you hardly hear anybody's voice, especially during the day. It helps me to just want to create videos. I love, love the whole. It helps me to just keep thanking God for life. I don't know if you get it. So if you want to move to Africa, also don't limit your chances of enjoying natural peace of mind, like moving to you know, yet um, developing places, okay? Give them, give these places a try, okay? Give them a try. Don't just go to the city and live there, okay? Es except, or let's say especially, if you don't really have to depend on the city for your survivor, please, all right? There's a, a different kind of peace that I feel. I still have my normal, usual worries, like, oh my God, how will I take care of my kids? How will I face the future? But it's not as scary as it used to be, like living in the city. You know, maybe it's, it's due to the noise. I don't know. Just the pressure of the city can make you very, very tense. Okay. And then limits your chances of enjoying life. Thank you for watching this video. All right. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.